G'day from sunny London after the British Grand Prix. Here's a question for you. What is the earliest that Max Verstappen can win the 2023 Drivers' Championship? There's some maths involved in this and I'll explain all of it in just a moment. Red Bull's Max Verstappen is absolutely odds-on favourite to win this year's title. After all, after 10 races, he's won eight of them and he's uh, been edged out into second in another two. So when is the earliest that Max can claim victory? In order to claim victory, there has to be no conceivable way of any other driver surpassing him in points. How do the points work? Well, let's have a look. For a normal race, remember there are feature races and there are also sprint races where points are awarded. So for a feature race, there are 101 points on offer, plus one bonus point for the fastest lap. And they are awarded in this order, 25 down to one. The sprint races have eight points on offer with eight to the first and one point to the eighth place getter. So what is the earliest that Max Verstappen can win the 2023 title? Let's have a look at the points as they stand now. And I'm recording this on the Tuesday after the British Grand Prix. As you can see here, Max Verstappen very clearly on top with 255 points. He leads from Sergio Perez, followed by Fernando Alonso with Lewis Hamilton in fourth spot. And as it stands now, there are enough points left that if you won every feature race and every sprint race and got every fastest lap, even the bottom driver could claim the championship. Of course, the odds of that happening are astronomical. So here's the assumptions that I'm making here, is that Max wins every feature race, he wins every sprint race, and he takes the fastest lap. Now for the remainder of the points, I'm going to distribute them to the drivers at the bottom of the table. So the driver with the fewest points would get 18 for second, the second bottom driver would get 15 and so on. So after Budapest, here's the results. Max would have 281 points, he'd be 125 ahead of Sergio Perez, 144 points ahead of Fernando Alonso, and 160 in front of Lewis. At this point, the total number of points available to be won if you won everything on the table are 318. So yes, Max can still be beaten and by any driver. The next race after Budapest is Belgium. And with Belgium, we have a sprint race. So there's two sets of points to be given out here. We would then have Max at the end of that event on 315 points, still in front of everybody by a mile. And there are 284 points left. Now that would mean there's not enough points for the likes of Oscar Piastri, Pierre Gasly, Alex Albon, Nico Hülkenberg, Valtteri Bottas, Joe Guan Yu, Yuki Tsunoda, and Nick De Vries to win. Now the way I've handed out the points here, Ocon and Sargent could possibly tie, but that changes after the Dutch GP. Let's give Max all the points again, bringing him up to 341. There are now only 258 points still to claim which means that Russell can't win, neither can Leclerc, neither can Stroll, Norris, Magnussen, Ocon or Sargent. That leaves us with just four other drivers able to win the championship and it would obviously rely on Max being unable to drive in any event and one of those drivers winning most of the points, if not all. The next race on the calendar is in Monza, Italy. Great track, very passionate crowd, but once again, I'm gonna give all the points to Max Verstappen. He will win that race. He'll go to 367 points in total. That would leave just 232 points available for one driver to win. And that's not enough points for Lewis Hamilton or Carlos Sainz to win. So they're knocked out of contention. And then we get to Singapore where Max would win that race. He'd be on 393 points and just 206 left. And that knocks out Sergio Perez and Fernando Alonso. And even if Perez or Alonso scored all of those points and Max scored none, they could not win the championship. So the answer to when is the earliest that Max Verstappen can win the 2023 World Drivers' Championship is Singapore. And that would leave us with seven dead rubbers. That would be quite a remarkable feat. Typically, you wouldn't be having all those bottom drivers getting the maximum points. So it's unlikely to be Singapore, but it could be if the chips fall the right way for Max Verstappen. For those of you who have not yet liked this video, here's your chance, please. Hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to become a member. Remember too, some great giveaways coming up. Prizes worth over 10,000 US dollars. You'll find me on Instagram at Kim Illman and my Instagram followers will be the ones that win those prizes. So make sure you're following me there. If you're after great F1 gift ideas, find my signed driver prints at kimelman.com along with merchandise, F1 photo books and some gorgeous wall art. 
and for my best images live from the track and all during the week, plus your chance to win some great prizes, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. Wait for that chopper.